There we go. There's another one right there. Welcome back to the channel. Last iced tea here, and uh, beautiful day here on Mars Lake. It's really breezy. We're gonna try to get that cork out. And here it is about 12:30. Got a little late start today, but I want the sun to get up. I'm gonna hopefully the whole video is gonna be all corking. Unless uh, we find some rovers, we're gonna drive down on them as well. So uh, I don't have the seats here. I'm gonna be standing today. I'm gonna put you on the dash. Of my seats so uh, i'm gonna go stand like i used to and all that good stuff so uh we'll see everybody when we get to our first area diesel one right there keeper Drop down right on him. There's a school right there. Another eater crappie right there. Bill had choked right there. For the fat eater, just a nine inch fish. We got a fish fry this weekend. Number four. Oh. You want these shoes now? You want me to drop them off later? I can drop them off later. Right. Whatever. I gotta go in and I gotta go have surgery on his hand. Yeah. I'm out of here. That's good. You got a nice limit. Good. Quite a bunch. Yeah. Quite a bunch of bunch. They're biting pretty good. I just got here. Yeah. I try to make them every once in a while when I can. I need to put my head up. <laughs> There's another little eater. 
going in the skillet. There's another good one. Right there in the middle of this tree there. I just dropped down on him and he come right off there and popped it. Nice ear, Mark Twain Lake. Talk about my equipment today. Uh, what I'm using so far is the, I uh, went to the 16th ounce Thumper Dwarf Pillhead. That's the John Deere green color. And I got the Wild Willies OCD uh, Cajun Cricket and the Wabash. I got six pound monofilament line. I got the Arden Finesse 1000 reel. And I got the seven and a half foot Edgar spinning rod, two piece. Beautiful rod for uh, this time of year to cast to them or put the cork on and all that good stuff. So let's get back to fishing. Here's another decent crappie. Go to the live well. Just out roaming around. There was three or four in a bunch and dropped down. Just a good eater crappie. Put this cork on. Fish on that tree right there. I think I dropped down too quick on them, so I'm just going to kind of float this above them. They might not want to bite. So far they haven't hit it yet. So. Usually I throw a cork in an area three or four times. If I don't get bit, I'm moving on. If there's fish there, they're just not uh, being active right now. And I might come back to him later. Just a little on the small side. Took the cork off and just popped it in. They were a little deeper, about eight or nine foot. So I just uh, dropped it down there and caught this one. And I ran into my buddy John and his brother-in-law. What's your name again? Tom. Tom and John. Out here trying to catch a few fish. Say hi to anybody you want to say hi to. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Hope you're watching, Dave. So there you go. They're here. There we go. There's another one right there. Didn't have the camera on. It's been kind of a, a lull, but it's a nice keeper right there. Took the old cork under. There he is right there. 
There's another nice crappie. It's number 14 in the skillet. There's another one right there. So anyway, that's gonna uh, wrap up the video. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Nice limit of crappie here at Mark Twain Lake. Springtime is here. Check out that pole timber with a cork late in the day. Sun's out, it's getting warm. They get up in the water column. So thanks again for tuning in to Strike 3 Fishing. We'll see everybody on the next one. And don't forget, if you'd like to book a crappie trip here at Mark Twain Lake, give me a call, 573 818-8104 Strike 3 Fishing Guide Service and uh, we'll get you on some crappie. So y'all have a great day and we'll see everybody on the next one.